it's really early right now. Don't mind the timer on my stove. I gotta fix that, but anyway. Hi, good morning. My daughter just started pre-K and I'm figuring out my morning routine when she goes because it's completely different than the routine we used to have. This is her first time in school. We waited till she was four to go to school. Welcome to my new morning routine. Wake up, make her lunch. Yesterday I got a blowout and the girl curled my hair with a straightener. And normally when I see them going to do that, I stopped them immediately, but I was into the dry bar movie that they had on and I didn't notice till she got to this half. So she had already done this half and then like, you know, that'd be weird. By the way, like all good parents, I got the uh, sandwich cutter. So I'm using Dave's Killer Bread. And some pieces are a little smaller for the Mickey Mouse. Normally when I see them go to curl my hair with a straightener, I'm like, oh, can you please use a curling iron? I actually love it. I just always heard it's worse for your hair because um, it's like more heat, but I actually really like it. Next is Santa Cruz peanut butter. We are allowed to have peanut butter at our school. I know when I've showed her lunch before, people are like, peanut butter! Sometimes Vi does really good at drop off and then sometimes she doesn't. Regardless, she loves school and once she's there, she's like really happy to be there. So the security guard told us that kids just do better when both parents drop off. And yesterday me and Jared both did it. We took separate cars because he's got to go straight to work, but no crying, she just walked right in. So there's something to that. Little kid, this little sandwiches. Bento go stainless steel. Ben Bento go? I, I don't know. Um, this is the lunchbox I use for her. Put that in there. Then for a little snack, she loves these raspberry, they're like a raspberry chip, like freeze dried raspberries. Annie's cheese squares. And the bento go came with this little silicone thing and I always line it with paper towel because, I don't know, the silicone thing is like weird. She loves crackers. At our school, the snack has to be in a separate container and in a different part of the book bag. So again, another just like stainless steel snack box. I'm sure you could just like pack a banana or like a packaged snack, but I just know Violet and like, she just doesn't like the same thing every day. Um, so I think giving her variety is good. So some strawberries. So that's why I don't do fruit in her lunch because she's gonna eat this first. Blueberries. Teriyaki seaweed, which I opened for her. And I just put it right in there. In the fridge until we do drop off. So I don't know if we're both gonna go today or just share. I don't know, when he wakes up, I'll ask him. Okay, so I just threw on a random athletic dress from Abercrombie and we're gonna go to drop off and then me and Jared are gonna grab coffee near his office and then I'm gonna come home and like do my whole routine. And when we grab coffee together, it's like literally like five minutes, but just to get in like something. Nice. So I just got back house is so quiet that's the one thing i'm not like fully used to even though we're going on two weeks of while being at school so yeah getting into this routine of like okay i have these hours to myself this is what i need to get done i need to clean the house work work on myself work out sometimes i meet up with another mom and we do some stuff so yeah, it's just like finding your new groove and violet only goes to school half day so it's not even like you know a full day Besides the matcha that I had today, I have nothing else in my system. Like I haven't had my morning protein shake. I like tried to wait. Now that we're consistently waking up at 6.30, like I don't want food right away. And then I like to get my workout in and then refuel with like protein and supplements and all of that. When I was in New York, this was like my go-to, but I wanted to wait until now to share it with you guys. I'm just going to fill my glass with water. Amra Colostrum. If you're on the internet, whether you're on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, like just one of the platforms you've seen this. And I was so curious because 
I was listening to Kristen Cavallari's podcast. By the way, I'm gonna just start making this while we're chatting. It's just water. And then this is the unflavored colostrum. And I do like three to four scoops. Anyway, I was listening to Kristen Cavallari's podcast and she was talking about how colostrum is like the new collagen. Like everyone used to talk about collagen. She doesn't take it anymore and she takes colostrum. Two, we're gonna do three today. And around that time is when Amra sent this to me for me to just try to see what I thought. So I was already like drinking it. And then when I heard her say that, I was like, oh, well, she's a mom and she's got three kids and she looks amazing and her skin looks amazing. And I know she's like not big enough Botox and stuff. So anything I could do for skin that's like from within, I'm willing to try. By the way, this electric mixer is also by Amra. Amra has flavored colostrum on their website as well, but I just personally like unflavored. So if you're wondering what is this superfood and why do I need it, if you've never heard of Amra colostrum before, or don't even know what colostrum is, a dairy bioactive whole food that is produced by mammals 48 to 72 hours after giving birth. And some of the benefits of taking colostrum are immune benefits, gut benefits, hair benefits and skin benefits. So there's a lot of colostrum brands out there. The reason why I chose Amra's is because they're the only colostrum to use cold chain biopotent pasteurization, which helps keep Amra's over 400 bioactive nutrients, active and functional. So as much as I love superfoods that can help with my hair and my skin and my gut health, the reason why I personally started taking Amra's colostrum is for immunity support. Since my daughter started school, I started building our immune system over the summer. So hers, mine, my husband's, because that's when everybody gets sick. All the moms warned me about it. And because this contains bioactive nutrients, you can think of this like your suit of armor to protect you from against environmental threats. So definitely check out Amra. I do have a code for you guys. When you use my code SAMO, you can get 15% off for new customers. And I will have my link in the description box. You guys can shop Amra. Okay, this isn't the most exciting protein shake but it seriously tastes like iced coffee so I just do water and butter coffee protein by Flav City and this is so good look how frothy like it literally tastes like iced coffee put my little dress back on um and I wanted to show you guys so I do like a quick pick me up makeup look every single day so ever since I started school it's been the most consistent I've been with makeup and I personally like wearing it better especially like mostly for myself. Anyway, I wanna turn you guys on to one of the best drugstore products I've ever used. This is called, what is this called? <laughs> Lumi Glotion, like glow, glow and lotion, you know, you get it, by L'Oreal. It makes your skin so dewy. Here my dishwasher, it like has to be on because I want the house to be clean, but I'm also filming. It makes your skin, let me put it here too. So do I'm already wearing this. You can wear this with like no makeup, but it's a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, which I used to own, but didn't like enough to buy again. And I saw this on TikTok and I was like, you know what, I'll try this because why not? Like it's affordable and I was already at Target anyway. Then I do a little bronzer. I'm actually on the hunt for a new bronzer and I think I'm gonna try the Armani one just because I'm such a fan of the Armani foundation, but just like a little pick-me-up That's what I call this makeup. Like it's not foundation. I don't even wear concealer. It's just Something on my face and then this ties the look all together I am so glad I think I've said this before but I'm so glad benefit sent this to me because I wouldn't see this at Sephora and then pick it up like looks too dark for me. It just like Yeah, but it's their tint in the original color. I think like the rose and for some reason this one just makes me look tan once it all gets blended in it like looks like i was in the sun and i really can't do my makeup without it and i like how it feels kind of watery and dewy and then i don't always wear mascara but i am today this is my favorite one the tartlet tubing mascara there's so much more i want to share about violet school and just like little things they do there but then i was like uh but then make maybe you could google and find out her school and like i'm learning how to undershare it's not weird like learning how to undershare because on youtube you're sort of like rewarded for oversharing if that makes sense like i've never had like crazy tea to spill nothing like even just like oversharing about your period routine or something like 
Like literally it could be anything and you're sort of rewarded for that because people feel closer to you and they feel like, oh my gosh, that happened to me too. And could you imagine if you didn't share anything, it'd be like so boring and plain and vanilla. But I guess I just don't want Violet to see things on, at some point when she's older and then like be super embarrassed. Like I already don't open up with people at her school or activities that like what I do for a living. Like I, I just like don't talk about it, I don't know. Yeah, sometimes like we'll be at gymnastics class and I'll see a subscriber that's also a mom that's there with her kids and she's followed me and like we have a great conversation. It's not weird at all, like never. it's never weird. But I feel like, and this could just be my own thing, but I feel like the title influencer is sort of seen as less than. I feel like somebody that comes in is like, I'm a lawyer, I'm a doctor, or I own a small business, or I'm a stay-at-home mom. Like, I feel like those are more socially acceptable, even though so many business owners are influencers. Like, my dentist has an Instagram. If you have a business, that's just like your way of marketing. So like, everyone's kind of an influencer now, but, but for me, it's like, my life is my content. And so, I don't always like putting that out there for people to just make assumptions about me or I'm one way or another, I'd rather like meet friends and this not even be a, a factor. Imagine going to your children's school and it's like career day and it's like, what do you do for a living? Well, um, <laughs> you should sit down for this. I wanted to end this vlog with the perfect after school snack. So these are pumpkin spice protein muffins. Yes, protein. How many moms want to get a little extra protein in for their kiddos? So. This has Greek yogurt, as you can see. The full recipe will be down below in my description box, but I love having a snack for Violet to come home to. She always comes home super hungry, and she's like, I want a snack, and I want it to be healthy, but of course she wants something sweet, so this is something that we can both agree on. Plus, after you make these, your whole house will smell like pumpkin spice. It also has a scoop of vanilla protein powder, so again, more protein. Every year during the fall, I make pumpkin muffins, but I like that this recipe is slightly different. Obviously with the protein in there, I've never done that before. Of course, chocolate chips. I think the pumpkin spice seasoning plus chocolate chips is like the best combo ever. Plus I found these really cute Halloween muffin cups at Target and Violet just loved them. And yeah, again, it's something different, but you're going to have all of these ingredients at your house, which is perfect. So enjoy and they are extra gooey.